So I'm going to jump on a bandwagon right now, which is a trending topic. And it's something I was considering bringing more videos about, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because there's some great videos already out there being published by some fantastic YouTubers. So I'm not going to jump on that, but I am going to mention this tool and software and how I'm genuinely using it to create better titles for my blog posts and get more traffic to my website. So what is it? Stay tuned and we'll find out. Let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to the channel again. So yeah, you probably guessed it. I'm going to talk about ChatGPT. Like I said, I'm not going to demonstrate or show you exactly some of the amazing things it can do and it can do some incredible things. I'll leave a link to a couple of videos I watched over the last couple of days. I'll leave a card up here or up here or a link in the description. Go check those videos out where those guys really demonstrated this tool to its fullest capacity. Now, I just want to talk about one topic and one feature that I'm using inside of it to honestly get more traffic to my blog post. And that's using it to generate some click worthy, not click bait, click worthy titles. Because I think it's a part of our blog post and our business that we overlook. We don't really truly understand the power of a good title for a blog post. Now, I've been looking at some of my analytics and I'll throw some screenshots up now, you'll probably be able to see them, where I've been noticing that I'm getting a lot of impressions on my blog posts. So they are ranking in the top page of Google, but they're not getting clicked because other people are generating more catchy, more interesting, more curious titles than I'm producing. So I may have the better article than them, but they're getting the clicks, therefore Google is rewarding them with higher positions in the SERPs. And that's because Google feeds off that data. It puts you up against people and it monitors the amount of clicks that you get. So when somebody reads the title, they click it, they read it, how long do they read that article for before they bounce off that page? It takes all this into consideration. Now, if it shows two titles in the top 10, let's say the top three places have three titles. And again, I'll put them on screen now. And you can see title one, title two, and title three. If you saw those titles, which one would you click on to read? Of course you would. It'd be number three, because it just sounds more interesting, more enticing, and it makes you want to click that article, even just out of curiosity. So it's super important to actually create some catchy titles. Now, if you're like me, I really, really struggle to actually create these titles. So I've been using ChatGPT, which is like I say, is free to use, and I've been using that to create some titles. Like I say, this tool is phenomenal what it can do. And I, I'm not going to get into the realms of can you use ChatGPT to write blog posts. I 100% believe you should not do that. You should be writing original, unique content. And I've got a video coming out in a few weeks where I believe it will be an opportunity rather than a distraction or the end to blogging. I do think there are certain types of posts it will kill and it will really, really spoil your chances of ranking for, but I think there are some opportunities that this tool cannot do that you can, but that's for a future video. So for today's video, I'm gonna just quickly jump onto ChatGPT and I'll just throw in some titles that I genuinely have on my website. Now, we will go to my website, We'll pull these titles and we'll see if this tool can create anything more catchy so we can replace the titles and hopefully get the most out of all the impressions we get and start turning them into clicks and getting readers to click on our catchy titles, read our article and we'll make some money. Fingers crossed. So let's jump on the computer now and let's just have a play around with this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is open an account with OpenAI. And this is the free resource AI tool that you can use. Once you actually sign that account, you can see here they've introduced the chat GPT resource and you can use that now. So if we click try, this is the desktop you will be faced with. And this is the interface where you can start searching. And it, again, it shows you some examples of what it can do some of its capabilities, 
and some of its limitations. Like I said, I'm not going to demonstrate that in its entirety. I'm just going to show you how you can generate your catchy titles to get more clicks. So let's go over to one of the websites that I currently have, which is a public case study. And we'll take some of the titles from there that are not getting very many clicks. And we'll see if we can create something a little better. So here we are on one of my websites. This is Gardenia Organic. And you can see we have plenty of articles on here. In fact, there's over 900 articles on here. Some with very poor titles. So you can see one here, 11 flowers with negative meaning. Sounds like a really interesting article, but it's a bit of a dull title. So if we have a look at this title, let's see if we can actually generate something a little better. So let's take this title and let's go over to chat GPT and let's tell GPT what we need it to do. Okay, so let's give chat GPT some instructions and it can be as specific as you like. So we can say, write me five click worthy titles for my blog post entitled 11 flowers with negative meaning. So let's just click run and see what it comes up with. Okay, so there we go. It's quickly come up with five suggestions. You can see some of them there. Definitely a little bit more click worthy already. So you've got there, there's a good one. The dark side of flowers, 11 blooms with negative meanings. That's definitely a little bit more interesting than flowers with negative meanings. You can see here, uncovering the negative meanings of 11 common flowers. They're just pretty good. They're much better than what I've come up with. Now we can go one stage further. Let's say this title is pretty good, but it's too long for a H1 heading. We all know that H1 headings should not be more than 70 characters, ideally around 60 characters. So we can actually give it more instructions. Okay, so let's put this to the test. So let's ask it to write me 10 blog post titles that are really catchy and less than, let's say 70 characters for the blog post, 11 flowers with negative meanings. Let's see what it can come up with. So just to refresh, we're asking it for 10 titles. They've got to be really catchy and they've got to be less than 70 characters for this blog post. So as you can see, it's already coming up with some here. So we've got four already. Some of these are looking pretty good already. Definitely better than the ones I came up with. Beware the thorns, 11 flowers with negative symbolisms. The language of flowers, 11 blooms with negative meanings unearthing the negative meanings of 11 common flowers. And these are just far better than the ones I can create. So you can see here as a demonstration, the kind of things it can come up with. So let's just try another one. Let's go back to the website and let's just pick another one. So learn how to enjoy gardening more. I mean, how boring is that title? So let's just pick this one. Again, let's go back. So let's say this time we just want five. So write me five titles with amazing click worthy titles for a blog post called, and let's do that. Learn, learn how to enjoy more gardening more. Right, let's see what it can come up with. And there we go, you can see it's done five, and one that stood out straight away. Discover the secret to loving your garden. How brilliant is that? You're kind of saying that you've got the secret recipe, how they can get the most out of their garden. How much better is that than learn how to enjoy gardening more? I think it's fantastic. Now again, you can change this, and you don't have to give it any more instructions. You can say, write more, but with a funny tone. So again, I haven't told it that I want blog titles. It already knows that. I'm just giving it a further instruction. Let's just see what it comes up with. 
Okay, so you can see there, because we told it to do five, it's wrote five more. We've asked it for more, so it's gone with five more with a funny tone. And it's just fantastic. Why garden is like a box of chocolates, but even more fulfilling. <laughs> I love it. Um, get your green thumb on how to enjoy gardening, even if you're terrible at it. Gardening, the perfect activity for those who like to get their hands dirty. And these are just so, so much better. Like I say, this tool has endless possibilities, but this is one thing that I'm using it for now. And I'm going back at all my old articles. I'm looking at articles that are ranking, getting impressions, but not getting clicks. And the only reason they will not be getting clicks is either the title is bad or the focus featured image is poor. So there you go, as you can see, it is fantastic. Like I say, I'm not gonna get into the realms of what this is capable of doing. I am testing some other things out of it and it is phenomenal what it can do. It kind of even talks to you and it can relate to you, it's, it's strange. You know, this is only version 3.5. So this is GPT version 3.5. Version 4 is coming out, I think, in a year or so, and they say that that's going to be a thousand times more powerful than what this is now. It is crazy to think what this can do. So, like I said, I'm not going to get into whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. I certainly think it will shake a few people up and it will definitely affect some people positively and negatively. But for you with your blog, it can really, really help generate some catchy titles and hopefully get some more clicks if I can turn more of my impressions into clicks, I'm definitely going to make more money. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.